Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. When last we left off, we had just cleared out the outskirts of um, Angel Oracle. And now we're going to have a word with the guard and see whether or not they're going to let us inside. Hello, gentle stranger. Welcome to the Angel Oracle, home of the Mannerites. My name is Guard Llewellyn and this is Guard Baron. We're at your service. Hmm... Uh, Guard Dala needs water. Oh. Uh. Oh, jeez. I totally forgot. She asked me earlier and I just plain forgot. I hope she'll be okay. Now, now, Brother Llewellyn, I'm sure she'll be fine. Rangers, will you please take this canteen to Guard Dala immediately? Thank you for informing us of her situation, gentle visitors. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, are the Mannerite broadcasts coming from here? Well, sure, Mr. Manners dispenses wisdom all across LA via the radio. It's a call-in show and he really helps people learn to get along through the power of manners. Now that there's uh, no central authority, it's how I came here, in fact. I got sick of fighting hobos for lizard legs, and I realised I could make something for myself. Maybe help rebuild civilization. you know. Maybe I could... Brother Llewellyn, our guests look a little impatient. Perhaps we should hold up personal testimonials for later. Okay, what kind of radio do you have? I was told that we have one of the most powerful setups in this part of Los Angeles. It's a really great promotional tool, don't you think? It just brings so many people together so quickly. Yep, it's a nice piece of tech to have. Brother Llewellyn, uh, having good manners doesn't mean we have to go spilling all our secrets. Like the book says, a little ambiguity is good in social situations. Uh, what do you think of Mr. Manners? Oh, he's a great man. Our leader and the world's most knowledgeable mind when it comes to matters of propriety. And what can you tell me about the Mannerites? That's us, friend. We're the Mannerites, adherents of the book of nauseatingly correct manners. And this is our home. If you come in peace and you are polite, you are more than welcome to enter. If not, why, well, we'll have to ask you to leave. Uh, what do you know about uh, the Angel Oracle? Why, you're standing in front of it. This is our home. We've made it very nice. We've been broadcasting our message of manners and civility to the wasteland. And we believe it's helping restore some civilization to the world. You are totally welcome to share with us, friend. But first, you'll need to talk to the sheriff over in visitor processing. Uh, where exactly is the sheriff? Sheriff Marshall is just inside the door here. She'll get you situated in Angel Oracle. Just make sure you're polite and use your manners. That's the real key to our society here, you know. Uh, what do you care so much about manners? There's nothing more important than manners, my friends. It is the glue that holds civilization together. Now uh, we're looking for cat litter. You got any? Well, we don't make it here. It's that... Oh, if that's what you're asking, but uh, Mr. Manners keeps cats, and he asks, and oh, I'm going to try this again. Well, we don't make it here, if that's what you're asking, but Mr. Manners keeps cats, and he has our scavenging team looking for the stuff all the time, so we may have some. Uh, we helped Sandra down from a tree over there. Guard Francis helped take Sandra back to her parents at the cafeteria, friend of children. Eh, you have our thanks. And there's a little something for your trouble. Oh, don't know what he gave us, but I'll have a look at that later. Uh, what did the, ra uh, the radio broadcast mean by cleansing? I normally don't talk about that with new visitors, but you seem trustworthy. Mr. Manners is referring to our monthly executions. I'm sure Sheriff Marshall will go over uh, 
go over it when she explains our rules. Um, I'm not going to tell them about the hobo yet. I need to keep that under under wraps for now. Goodbye. After you've deli d uh, delivered that water, please head through to the visitor processing. Gentle in in what's that? Itinerance? Itinerance? Maybe? I don't know. My grasp of the English language is somewhat mediocre. <laughs> Funny, considering I am English. Okay, we got some water. Place a canteen from Guard Baron in the basket. Yes. Oh, <laughs> bucket. The bucket talks. Thank you, down there, Rangers. I feel much better already. See? Helping out one canteen of water at a time. Well, I guess we better head into visitor processing. These massive gates are closed and barred. Oh! <laughs> Stephen Dubich. Sorry about this, but we need uh, to ask you some questions to make sure you're ready. After all, we can't have someone come barging in and them complaining that they don't know the rules, right? Just answer the following questions and we'll have you on, the, on your way. First question. When referring to a stranger, do you call them sir or fuckface? I really want to say fuck face. Sir. Perfect. Next question. Do you wash your hands before or after a meal? Before. That's right, because we're not savages. And also, we like to stay healthy. Okay, next question. Do you settle agreements with words or with blood? Well, technically you're supposed to settle them with words, but Neko won. Okay. Welcome to the Angel Oracle, friends. I'm Sheriff Marshall, and I'll need to explain a few things before we let you roam free. Uh, you do know that we're the Mannerites, right? And that we put a premium on manners? Uh, what's all the fuss about using your manners? Our society places the utmost value on proper etiquette. Uh, what better way to maintain civility than by ensuring that everyone displays respect, care, and consideration for others? Mind your manners, and you'll fit in just fine here. Mm hmm. Tell us about yourself, Sheriff. I'm Sheriff Jojo Marshall, gentle speaker. I'm in charge of making sure people here mind their manners, and that they stay nice and polite. When people come in and out of the dust, we can say what kind of bugs they're ca oh. When people come in and out of the dust, who can say what kind of bugs they're carrying? Who can say their intentions are good? My job is to protect the people, or is to get people cleaned up and presentable. Show them the ropes, tell them about the place, and make sure they're peaceable. And when the time comes, I take care of our executions too. You have executions here? Yes, gentle speaker, executions. We've got a nice and tidy little space, and sometimes people do their level best to make a mess of it. We don't like that. It's not polite. Without the civilian grace of manners, we're no better than savages. So sometimes we're forced to show people just how serious we are. I don't savour the job. But we've got one coming up soon. A little fella named Fletcher couldn't keep his bunk area clean. The filth drew in some roaches through a vent next to his bed. Hurt some people. Wrecked some stuff. So, an example has to be made. The roaches came through a vent? The ventilation system is connected to the steam tunnels that run below the field. They're connected to every part of the Angel. 
we blocked up the one near Fletcher's bunk as well as we could. But the roaches always seem to find some way in. Where are the roaches coming from? Sorry to say they live in the steam tunnels below the Angel. They're mean, hungry, and damn hard to kill. We block up anywhere they come through, but given the proper motivation, like say rotting food, and they'll bust through. What do you know about Fletcher? Nicest guy you'll ever meet. Polite to a fault, but he's so absent-minded he couldn't even keep clean enough to keep the roaches away. Disgusting things. And what do you mean by polite? Being polite's the law here. Being rude or unkept gets you demerits. And if you get enough of those, why, you could get put on trial. And if you've been bad enough to be on trial, chances are good you'll be taking part in an execution. But not on the fun side. Uh, who are the Mannerites, then? That's us, gentle speaker. Founded in the ruins of Los Feliz Bookstore. You could talk to our spiritual and temporal leader, Dick Manners, if you want to know more. What can you tell me about Mr. Manners? Mr. Dick Manners is the guy who runs the show around here. He was raised in the Mannerite tradition, born and bred to be its leader, and he teaches us that the most important glue of society is proper use of etiquette, politeness and civility. Hell, if we'd known how to talk to each other back in the day, you think they'd have dropped the bombs? What do you know about Angel Oracle? This place used to be a glad gladiator arena or something. The letters fell off the front, they say, leaving the words as you see them. Uh, we're looking for cat litter. Got any? Well, we have some, but we can't give you any. Mr. Manners keeps it for his cats. I know that's a bit wasteful considering its use in fighting radiation poisoning, but we don't get much out of that here, so I don't ride him too hard about it. How can we help here? Oh, you'd like to help? That's great. Just great. Now that you've been processed and educated, we might just take you up on that. Right now, though, you should get acquainted with the place. You'll have to stick by a few rules, but I don't suppose that's too much of a hardship for law and fortunes such as yourselves. What are the rules? We live by the book here, and I was brought up a Robinson. But we came to the Angel and took its habits. So surely you can too. First rule is to be polite. Second is to use your manners. Don't speak out of turn. Don't interrupt. Cleanliness is next to godliness. You know, like that. What do you know about the Robinsons? I'm a Robinson, born and raised. We believe that a person has to take proactive steps to seize the maximum amount of power they can. In fact, Maximum Power is the name of the book we live by. Found alongside the Mannerites Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners in Los Feliz Bookshop. What do you know about Los Feliz? It's a small settlement northeast of here, past Hollywood. It's ruled by a group of Jesus freak types. That's why we left. They might have been holy, but they weren't polite. What do you, what do you know about the Book of Manners? Oh, I'm taken in there with tone. It's the Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners. Some people have Bibles. This one's an instructional book, though and it keeps our society civil and correct. When people are polite, it sure is a lot harder to get to fighting. If you want a real rundown, talk to Mr. Manners. Goodbye. I knew it. No monsters to fight, no crims to beat. Okay, so we finally managed to get into the walls. A little long-winded. Some 
conversations going on around here. I don't think we're allowed to go up here. Uh, only those with the highest clearance are admitted. Sorry. A teaching from the book. Manners are the glue that holds society together. Never chew with your mouth open and finish your meal so that nothing is wasted. Have a great day. Oh, my days. Right, okay, what do we got here? It looks like the uh, restrooms. So let's have a look in said restrooms. Oh, hello. It's a freaking safe in one of the toilets. Only 33% chance. Come on, Scotch Mo, you can do it, boy. Come on. Atta boy. Cat burglar mask. Minus three strength. Plus three evasion. Plus two safe cracking and lock picking. Holy Christ. Oh man. That's not bad, but not great either. What have we got here? You notice scrapes on the wall around the grate as if it has been removed and replaced numerous times. Okay, we're in some sort of steam tunnel. Okay. Scalding hot steam shooting out of the open valve. The heat is making your eyes water. The wheel near the jet looks rusted, but a feat of strength might yank it shut. Come on then, Raven. Okay, we managed to shut that off then. What's over here? Doesn't appear to be anything now. Let's see if we can shut off this valve then. Ah, oh, sweet. Doing alright here. Right. We've got a roach there. See if uh, Raven can close this off. Oh my goodness me! Not bad. Not too shabby. Right. Let's deal with this roach. Um. Takayuki, we're gonna need you in front as well, buddy. Um, come on. Okay, this is being an annoying little cockroach. Oh. Oh, well, there we have it. That is a horrible sound to make. Ouch. Right, in the back. Ah, should we be able to kill this? Or not? Um, is it just the one? Bob your way out of that, fucker! Attention all citizens. I'm getting reports of screeching sounds coming from the steam tunnels. As you all know, the steam tunnels are a restricted area. This is for your own safety. Anyone found accessing restricted areas or anyone found guilty of stirring up the roaches will be punished. Remember, roaches may seem cute when they're small, but they are not to be taken as pets. Roaches 
are savage creatures. They'll take a bite out of you at the moment you let your guard down. Enjoy your day. We will, thank you. Okay, right, I'll do the toaster first. Looks like I can't access this without setting off a booby trap. Shouldn't be a massive issue. Baby wipes! Wonder what the heck they're for. Um. Hmm. And it looks like... You come across a dead synth and dead Robinson. A suspicious array of supplies lay on a nearby crate. The dead Robinson is clutching an ID that reads Runyon. Okay. Right, so we've got Runyon's personal ID. Uh, Flinkman supplies, Lindy's tools, and Paladino's watch. So, we'll take those. Seven foot tall metal humanoid with an exploded rib cage. Notes from Malachi. Master, I'm in position. Sustained damage from roaches during infiltration. Have one Robinson to the cause. Sent him to find items necessary for my repair. M. Another metal dude? Shit's getting spooky. Agreed. Sorry, Scotch Mo, but I'm gonna need you to open this up. It's gonna hurt only for a little while, buddy. Damn it. Oh no. Well, there was gonna be no way I could open that up anyway. I guess I'll probably come down there a little too soon as well. We've got any other directions then? Another valve, but that's coming from that direction, so we can't get through that way. Actually, lucky that roach didn't. Um, Is that the way? We, oh, there's a storeroom. That's the way we come from. And that'll be where the valve is on that side. So we can enter the sewers from another area for sure. Wish I had tried to open that box up now, but never mind. Tis what it is. love to get in there and check out what's in those saves. But now if I try that, it's gonna be a big problem. That's alarmed. Are you gonna let us access this? We can. We'll take that then. Who we have here? Rangers. Wow. Look who we have here. Rangers. Hmm. Right, well. We shall talk to the cook and Tory Robinson later on. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of the day, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye bye.